Hello everyone, Rankle here. It's now upon us, patch 2.4.1, and with it, Season 6 and a new updated leveling guide. There are only a few changes from last season, but I've got a link to my last season video if you do want to go into the nitty and gritty details about the fast leveling with the Massacre bonus. But in this guide, I'll talk about the two best methods for leveling in solo or group play, and how to fast track your six-piece class set. Regardless of which way you level, you will be starting out the same way every time by establishing a baseline of gear and going for a bounty to begin and trying to get the Canes or Borns set pattern. If you want the too long didn't watch summary to this video, theoretically a 4 player massacre killing could still be the fastest, but it would require too much coordination for any real team of players to accomplish, so stick with rift farming in groups of two or more. If you're solo, and maybe you can get away with it in a two-player group, you can choose between Rifts or Massacre Killing, because there's really going to be no difference in time to level between those two. To fast acquire your six-piece class set, simply reach level 70, kill as well in Act 4 on Torment 2, and then complete a Greater Rift 20 solo. If you want to get into the details, stick around for the rest of this video. Some tips to remember as you're leveling. At level 9, you can send a Monk or Demon Hunter or Crusader at level 12 to queue up Lyric's Crown in story mode if you're in a group. I've got a video in the description below and it goes into detail how to spend the least time doing this. If you're running solo, I would just skip getting Lyric's Crown altogether if you're on a time crunch, but it is a nice thing to have to queue before you get level 70. The last level that I believe you can get it is 62, but someone could correct me if I'm wrong on that. Next, look for rings on fence vendors at level 7 and amulets at level 11. You're looking for min max damage on these. Always put a ruby in your helm and weapons, and diamonds in your armor and jewelry for resistances. Salvage all items that you find for crafting, especially to extract gems, as the jeweler gem removal cost is too expensive. You'll also be using these crafting materials to try and craft set pieces for your canes or born set, or for weapon. Keep all legendary items you want to save later for cubing. A low level item in a cube is just as good as the level 70 item. Save all your puzzle rings or bovine bardishes. You can save the bardishes until level 70, but we'll be using them between level 42 and 60 when we first get reduced level items to work chain kill massacres. To begin this whole process, create a new seasonal character or you can rebirth an older one. Start adventure mode and select hard difficulty if you're solo, and if you're in a group you can scale up to expert or master for the beginning of this. Once in the game, steal weapons off your followers, hire the Templar if you are doing solo play. What we're going to do is we're going to start on the first bonus act. Although if your act is Act 5 or 3, just skip it altogether and go directly to Act 1. Don't worry about the bonus act. The first bounty you should complete is the boss kill bounty. This way you get better starting gear than your follower items. If you're in a group, have everyone do this on Expert or Master difficulty in order to get more experience for the kill and it's not that much harder at level 1. Once you complete it, open the reward chest and drop the difficulty back down to hard. For the remainder of the bounties, do split bounty farming and when complete, turn in the bounty. You can still get the canes and born set patterns before level 23, so there's no real reason to wait to turn it in. If you do not get a canes or borns pattern, you could still do another act if you like, ideally the next bonus act, but I would just chalk up the loss and move on. Personally, I like to do all five bounties at once just to get a full set of Q materials for when I do hit level 70 at the cost of a little bit of leveling speed, plus I can pick up my Kanai's cube. But that's a choice that you can make, and if you're looking for the quickest way to go, then you can just skip all the rest of them and just only do one to try and get the Borns or Cane set. Now that you've completed the bonus act, hopefully, and if you've had another group member queue up to the Leoric, you can do this now if you're at least level 20. Otherwise, farm rifts until you hit level 20. The lowest you can do Leoric is level 20 to get the guaranteed crown drop with a socket in it, so don't do it any sooner. Once you get the crown, return back to adventure mode on hard difficulty. Make sure you have Canes or Born set crafted as well and ready for you when you reach level 23. At this point, you have a few paths to take if you're solo. You can stick strictly to farming curse chests, fields of misery, or halls of agony with the massacre bonus, or you can work on farming rifts on hard difficulty. No matter which method you choose, they're mainly a wash in time to get to 70 for solo play. For groups, bar none, your fastest method will be strictly rift farming on hard difficulty until you get to level 42 and upgrade your blacksmith to rank 10. Ideally, you will upgrade before level 42 and keep trying to craft these level 60 one-handed weapons or a bow with reduced levels on them. 
If you have a lot of materials, crafting will be the cheapest route, but if you craft with the percent crowd control affixes on it, you can use the Mystic to reroll another secondary to reduce levels. However, the Mystic does cost less materials, but it will cost significantly more gold, so just be aware of that. Since the Massacre bonus is now multiplicative with the new patch, getting a reduced level weapon early is critical if you want to get a Massacre bonus farming solo. I found that farming around Torment 1 still allowed me to get good chains without getting killed. If you look at this reference chart, you can see that getting a 50 kill Massacre on Torment 1 now is as good as killing on Torment 4 with no Massacre bonus. This is also why we're saving Bovine Bardishes to use for leveling. Running these on Torment 1, you can easily get 100 plus chain kill massacres as the zone is dense packed with cows who are really easy to kill. Doing them on Torment 1 in a group will still allow you to get massacre chains pretty easy, so I would suggest doing them as soon as you get them with a group or solo, but you'll need to get the Kanai Cube in Act 3 to unlock the cow levels. If you find surviving is difficult, don't be afraid to turn the difficulty down. The bottom line is to maintain large massacre bonuses. When killing slows down, drop the difficulty and you can go back to farming rifts on hard or massacre bonuses on hard solo. Once you hit 61, swap over to a marquee emerald in your weapon and a ruby in your helm. If you have a death's breath and you have not gotten a level 60 weapon upgrade, craft a two-handed weapon or crossbow. You can also upgrade your blacksmith at this time to try and craft level 70 weapons the same way you crafted level 60 weapons. This time, you only need 9 levels reduced, so it's the easiest to straight craft these. At this point, continue to rift or massacre up to level 70 on hard, and you should be there in around 3 hours give or take. Well-equipped groups pushing rifts could easily approach the 2 hour mark, and quite honestly, they might even be capable of getting under 2 hours to get 1 to 70. Once you do ding level 70, open up your mail to get Hadrig's Gift, which are the first two pieces of your class set. Craft some level 70 items to fill in the gaps of what you're missing, buy some off the vendor, or even gamble some items. Craft rings and amulets at the jeweler using your gems that you've picked up from 61 to 70, and equip a good skill passive baseline. Now leave your game and start it back up on Torment 2. Now you're going to go kill Iswal in Act 4. It should be pretty slow with the two-piece set, but just take your time and don't die. When you kill him, you'll get another mail with two more pieces of your class set. Now you need to finish Torment 4 Rift to unlock Greater Rift 20. This is the part that varies based on the 4 set. Some don't give a good damage bonus, while others like Marauder give an amazing damage bonus. But start on Torment 4 and knock down the difficulty until you find a comfortable farming spot in Rifts. The last piece you need is a Greater Rift Key. With the gear that you have once you find a key, hopefully you can beat a Torment 4 Rift to open up Greater Rift 20. And once you complete that solo, you'll now have your complete 6 piece set. Now that you have your 6 piece set, Torment 6 or 7 will be a breeze and you can continue on doing bounties, Rifts, Greater Rifts, farming your legendary gems, etc, etc. And that's pretty much it. You've got your six piece class set, and if you took the option to complete one round of bonus acts completely, you've got a full set of crafting materials to begin towards your Torment 10 and higher greater rifts. So I hope this guide has been helpful to you, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. And if you like guides like this, you can subscribe to me and I'll be putting out one every season that I can. And if you can, share it with your friends, because I really appreciate it. As always, keep on keeping on and see you next time.